Hey, good afternoon. Colin Kimball here with Alderman Chevrolet, GMC in Rutland, Vermont, Vermont's favorite car dealership. We appreciate your interest in this beautiful SUV. Very excited to get show you this thing today. Very, very beautiful vehicle we have in our hands. Now this is our 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EVLT. Now that comes with a ton of cool things here we get to go in depth about, but right off the bat, this vehicle did win Motor Trends SUV of the Year in 2024. So this is a great representation of what GM has to offer in its EV segment. Now this one here, great savings on it. Uh, current uh, customers who are GMP and GM leaseholders uh, and below Vermont's 80% median income requirements can lease this vehicle for two years at $229 a month. Uh, so very, very good savings on this vehicle. Even something I couldn't pass up. I do drive one of these. Now this one here is on the Ultium platform, which basically just means it's built from the ground up to be an EV. There's no dead parts or dead space inside of there that is just taking up space. Um, built from the ground up to be an EV. This one here, about 279 miles of estimated range uh, and very good on the economy. Now this one here is finished off in a metallic black. If we get up close, you can see it's actually pretty filthy. It definitely could use a good wash, but we take a good step back and all that dirt and grime kind of blends right into that beautiful black color. That's the great thing about these darker metallic colors here in the North Country. They hide the dirt and grime very, very well. Also on the exterior here, you have your body color painted mirror caps. You have a passive key entry system in all four doors and we will go over how that works. Uh, deep tinted rear windows. You do have these nice uh, roof rails here. Right down here, you have your 20 inch machine face aluminum wheels with some nice uh, spacers inside of there. Then you have your Bridgestone self-sealing tires, which basically just means you can pull a nail out of your tire on a long road trip uh, and it'll seal that tire back up for you. We do have our indicators on the outside. It's not always yourself you want to worry about. Uh, you do want to be seen in those uh, high fog, low visibility situations. Around to the front fascia here. Uh, probably my favorite thing about this vehicle, it looks great. You got your daytime running LED lights right here. Those do double as your turn signals. Then you have your projector style LED headlamps in there. And a nice little vent right here that does go all the way through. Classic Chevy bow tie on the front, very beautiful front grille. You got your frame mounted license plate, oh, I'm sorry, you have your license plate bracket right there. You don't have to install your own. Right around here is your charging port. You're gonna tap this and it's gonna go ahead and open up right up for you. You'll see right behind there is a little uh, button and then you basically just push the button right through that panel. This does light up when it is dark out there. You have your level one, level two DC fast charging capabilities. Now, with that passive key entry system, you just need the key in your pocket and you can lock and unlock the vehicle, which is great if you want to keep the key in your bag, a pocket, purse, whatever it may be. Very beautiful interior there. We are going to go over all of those features, but first I want to give you a good feel for room in the back. Now, I'm about six foot two, definitely on the taller side, and I have more than enough room back here to kick my legs out. There's actually a ton of room. This seat is back to my liking, which is further than normal. Uh, you got your kangaroo pockets on both sides of the seats here. That's not something they put in every vehicle. You got your Camaro inspired vents here. Uh, two Type C chargers. Uh, great, keep everyone happy with the uh, HVAC and the charging. Then a beautiful interior here. We'll go around to the front, show you some of those features. You do have your 10 way power driver seat adjustments with your two way lumbar adjustments. This is perforated leather right here. On the door, we have our electronic mirror and window adjustments. These are power folding. Now you can set it to a setting inside of there where when you lock the vehicle, it'll fold your mirrors up. It's kind of a cool look. Those do have your blind zone warning and they are heated as soon as you turn on your rear uh, defroster there. It's gonna go ahead and melt the snow or ice off of those. Here is your lock and unlock. Beautiful trim on here. Again, Camaro inspired vents up in the front. Right down here is your parking brake button. You have your lane keep assist with lane departure warning right there. That'll do those little minor adjustments for you, keep in between the white lines. Here's your auto hold. That's gonna stop you when you uh, let go of your brake at a uh, red light, say, um, and you're not gonna roll around anywhere. Here's your display brightness. On the steering wheel here, this is a leather wrapped heated steering wheel. You have your beautiful stitching right there. You're gonna turn on your heated option right there. 
On the left side, you have your adaptive cruise control settings. That's going to set a gap between you and the car in front of you, and it's going to keep it there. On the right side is your hands-free audio and phone call settings. This is where you're going to switch up your templates. You do have a Google Map one. Here is where you'll adjust your gap. Kind of a template for everyone. Now you have your electronic precision shifter right here. Now this is probably my favorite thing that they've done with a lot of these vehicles. They're switching over to this one. Um, now this kind of gets rid of the hunkiness and clunkiness of putting your vehicle into gear. Uh, very easy to use to switch from reverse to drive to neutral. And then you just tap right there to park. Um, now there is no um, ignition switch anymore on these. How you are going to uh, turn your vehicle off is basically just get out of the vehicle. As soon as you open your driver's door after putting the vehicle into gear and then back into park, it's going to sense that you did that and it's going to turn the vehicle off when you open your door. Um, then to turn it back on, you're going to open your vehicle. You'll see it's still off and then you're just going to put your foot right on the brake there. As soon as you put your foot on the brake, it's going to sense that you want to turn the vehicle on. It'll start kicking everything on here. There is an option to just turn the vehicle off by clicking that. You put your foot back on the brake, it'll turn it back on. If you don't want the vehicle to turn off when you get out of the vehicle, you just tap that little clock right there behind the car and it's gonna keep your vehicle on for 60 minutes. Every time you click this little button, even if no message pops up, it's going to keep your vehicle on for another 60 minutes. Uh, beautiful uh, radio entertainment screen right here. Uh, you have to get that message out of the way here. So this does come with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You don't have to uh, plug your phone in here and tangle up your, your center console. Um, you do have a Google Assistant. For, so for the first time ever, you can control your vehicle with your voice almost fully. Um, hey Google, change your temperature to 61. Okay, changing the temperature to 61 degrees. So it's pretty cool. You have in-vehicle controls. You can change your volume, your temperature. You can just ask it silly questions like, uh, how much or how much range do I have left? Uh, you got a few cool drive modes in here. Uh, you have your sport mode, your snow and ice mode. It's kind of just like a different tune for all your equipment you have in the vehicle. Vehicle status here is gonna bring up a little blazer. You get to spin around. Uh, you can click on certain things and then it'll show you uh, what is under the plus. Um, so tire pressure right here, or you can just click on any of these and it'll show you uh, what you're looking for. Energy info right here. Energy efficiency will show you a nice little chart once you do start driving. Only 13 miles on this one. Um, you do have a My Chevrolet app capability, so you can remote start, lock, and unlock anywhere in the country. You don't need to be near the vehicle. It does come with IntelliBeam Auto High Beam, so it speeds over 25 miles an hour. It's going to turn off and on your high beams based on your traffic conditions, and if you don't like that, you can just tap that button right there. Um, when you hit See More Controls, you're going to have uh, a bunch of ones you can control here. Your Lane Keep Assist, One Pedal Driving. Um, now that's going to use your kinetic energy uh, to basically bring you to a stop. So one pedal driving and then your regen on demand button right there uh, turns your kinetic energy back into usable power for you um, instead of engine braking or just using your brakes. Um, I've, I've kind of become accustomed to not using my brakes at all. I just come to a complete stop with the one pedal driving on um, and it's good for your uh, energy efficiency. Right here, you have your dual zone climate control. You each get your own temperature. Um, you have your three different heated seat options right there, three different temperature settings. Um, you have your location settings right in the middle here. Here's your windscreen. Uh, right here is your on and off button. Three different uh, H back vents right here. And then if you wanna turn it off, you're basically just gonna turn it left like that. Two USB ports right in there. You have a wireless charging pad right here, side-by-side -side cup holders. Beautiful center console here. It goes very deep for a good amount of storage. You have a 9-volt car port right in here, as well as a Type-C charger. And we'll step around to the tailgate here real quick. Beautiful rear fascia on this Blazer as well. Power liftgate. 
It does have an auto sense lift gate as well. So if you want to turn that on in the settings, all you have to do is walk back here. It'll uh, honk four times and then it'll open up. Right underneath here, obviously no gas tank, so you do have a good amount of storage. This is gonna come with a dual level charge cord, so you can just plug it into your 240 volt at home, um, and that'll give you your level two charging, which is about 40 miles per hour. Um, very good if you wanna just plug your vehicle in at home, and a lot of people think it's more than just a washer and dryer outlet, um, but that's all it takes. Ton of room back there. If you wanna drop it, you're just gonna press this little button again. Beautiful look on these blazers. Now that is our 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EVLT. If you have any more questions about this beautiful vehicle, don't hesitate to give me a call, 802-776-5000, or you can stop by for a test drive at 65 Windcrest Road in Rutland, Vermont, and ask for Colin. Have a good one.